something really sick, really sick is happening at NASA in the last few days that has happened in the last few days, I should say. NASA got some new hardware at Kennedy Space Center. And the reason why they got this new hardware is because they have to get the astronauts from where they suit up to the Artemis rocket. Because Artemis 2, they're going to go around the moon and come back down to Earth. And how do you get the people from where they suit up all the way out to the rocket? They don't walk that whole distance. They go from point A to point B in some sort of vehicle, right? So what they used to do, this is, this is, uh, this is also sick. This is classic. The Astro Van. Have you ever seen one of these things? If you're younger, you might not have seen one of these Astro Vans, but it's a modified version of a van that astronauts would take. I'm going to play this it's like in a smaller window over here, but you can see this cool van that astronauts would get into and they would drive this van. It's like a 20 minute trip from where the astronauts would suit up all the way out to the space shuttle. Right, so this is a sick, sick van by itself. Like, how cool does this thing look by itself? Without, without any, like, NASA stuff on it, that would be a pretty cool place to, like, a cool vehicle to drive across the country in or to, like, hang out with your friends in or whatever. Throw back a couple cocktails and just, like, shoot the breeze, I guess. I guess I could swear on YouTube now. Apparently, if you swear in the first 10 seconds or something, they don't like it. But I could say swear words now, but I'm not going to because there may be somebody, <laughs> be somebody young watching. So anyway, this sick old van, right? They made a new version of this. And I'm going to show that to you in a second. But look at the interior of this thing. Like there's cool buck, like there's seats that you can hang out in, like you could play cards back and forth, whatever. But the astronauts would sit across from each other and they would just hang out for like 20 minutes before they get into the space shuttle and get packed into their, their little shuttle before they go up into space and fix Hubble or whatever they're going to do. You know, maybe they're going to go to the International Space Station. Maybe they're going to go lower Earth orbit. Who knows? Whatever the, whatever the trip is, they need this van in order to get from suit up to the ship. Okay, now I want to show you there's new version, but this, I mean, the meatball logo, come on. Classic, classic, classic. Airstream, Astro Van, and you could tell it's old school because it has wood pan, like wood grain on the inside, but it looks pretty cool. I mean, it, it, classic, classic styling, NASA styling. This one, there's like a little rug in here too, like a. I don't think it's a shag rug. <laughs> that would be also pretty sick. But so the, here's a video of the astronauts actually walking out after being suited up. There's like a whole video of them suiting up here. It's similar to how the SpaceX astronauts go to the International Space Station. They're hanging out. They're sitting down to the sea. They're getting suited up, checking all the gear, making sure. Oh, look at this guy. This is a guy from the demo mission. <laughs> this is STS-130, right? From the SpaceX demo mission from Bob and Doug, remember? So let's go a little bit forward, though. And you can see there's an armed guard, which I don't know why there's an armed guard. At NASA. But here you go. You see all these astronauts. They're really pumped up. They're really pumped up. Not only to go to space, but they're pumped up to go into the Astro Van. Like, look at all these astronauts. It's like a, you know, if they had a small car, it would be like a little clown car full of astronauts. But they have this giant Astro Van. They get a little, what is it, six people here? And they get a photo op in front of the van, of course, because it's pretty cool. And then they get in the van and they get trucked off down to... Uh, down to the launch pad, SLC, or launch pad 39A, sorry. And then they get trucked off and they have some, they have armed guards, NASA, a NASA armored truck behind them. See, that's pretty cool too. But there's a new one. And I got to show you this new one because it's called a canoe. It's a canoe van. And they just got these delivered to Kennedy Space Center. And this is the concept art here. Artemis astronauts will ride in style in new car crew transportation vehicles. Pod-shaped exterior is going to be for the Artemis II mission. This whole article is all about the, the canoe and when astronauts leave their crew quarters at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, Florida, for their lunar mission on Artemis II, crew will ride a new set of wheels. A fleet of shiny crew transportation vehicles provided by Canoe Technologies. Launch the 30, 39B, 
for their historic ride aboard the Space Launch System rocket in the Orion spacecraft. Like I said before, they're going to go around the moon and come back down and land on Earth, off the coast of Florida someplace. The fleet will consist of three vehicles designed to take the fully suited astronauts, their support team, and their equipment on a nine-mile stretch, about 20, 20 minutes. They go slow. I mean, they're not going to gun it. They're not going to go like 60 miles an hour there. They're going to go like 20 to 30 miles an hour. They have to be safe as well because these astronauts are highly trained specialists that are going to space while going to the moon. They're going to the, like right around the moon and they have to be safe. So they're going to go 20 or 30 miles an hour. It's going to take about 20 minutes to get out there. And it's got to be a pretty cool thing. Futuristic transports with pod shaped exteriors will be an environmentally friendly solution. This is the cool part using zero emissions technology for the next generation of explorers. They're replacing the agency's Astrovan fleet, which I just showed you, the gleaming silver 1983 Airstream vehicles that carried space shuttle crews to the launch pad. Classic Astrovan. I love that vehicle, but it is time for a new one. I mean, 1983 Airstream van? I mean, come on. The most visible use of the Artemis crew transportation vehicles will be to carry crew from the astronaut crew quarters to launch pad 39B. So this is the concept art, right? So you kind of know what it's going to look like. It's kind of cool and shiny. But then you go to Canoe's Twitter account. And then you check this out. The first post on their Twitter account, Canoe has delivered zero, NASA's first zero emissions crew vehicles to transport Artemis astronauts. who were honored to contribute to space exploration alongside Gemini, Apollo, and Mercury. And look at these cool vans. Let's check this out. We're going to do a little close up here. And then we're going we're gonna to take a look at these things. I'm going to move this up a little bit. I mean, what do you think about it? What do you think of these canoe vans? Let me know in the comments. There's one, number two, and number three. And they, they look pretty similar. This one is a little bit bigger. Double doors, double doors, double doors. And you can see they took a little inspiration from Tesla over these door handles, it looks like. The door handles are pushed on the, into, the, into the door. So they are a little bit more aerodynamic and these, you know, these don't have to go fast. They don't have to save a lot of energy. There's energy as efficient as they need to be. They have to drive 20 minutes there and then let the astronauts get out and then drive back. And there's a few other things on the canoe Twitter account. The vehicles will, that will bring Artemis astronauts to launch complex 39B have arrived at NASA Kennedy. And it's another shot of another glamour shot. Well, look at that. It's right next to NASA Kennedy. I'm just, tell, I'm just telling you about this because I think it's really cool. You know, the stuff that we think about is like the rocket launches and the flights and the astronauts and things like that. But these ground support systems are just as important as the rocket. How are you going to get the astronauts to the rocket? With a canoe. I mean, the name canoe doesn't make much sense, but. Doesn't make much sense, but there's a few other things. The NASA ground systems actually posted about this on Twitter. Artemis II mission 2023. Very cool. Close up. You can see the handles. Pop them open. Very shiny and new. Apollo. They're giving, they're remembering the Apollo missions. Project Apollo was the third United States human space flight program carried out by NASA from 1968 to 1972, which succeeded in preparing and landing the first humans on the moon. So, Astrovan to the canoe. So, yeah. Very sick. I'm just going to say this is sick, dude. And this is a sick hero shot of these canoes, too. They have their flashers on, but you get like a little, it's like fuzzy, right? So it's like, it's all dramatic and stuff. And then it's like, it pans up and then they go into focus. Oh, what? A, that's a good shot. Whoever shot that, good idea. The hero shot from the, from the ground to the top. And then this one. Like, guess what just arrived at NASA Academy? <laughs> whoop, whoop. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Canoe, Canoe has a cool cool platform. They they build these for, they're going to be using them for different things that, not, that aren't NASA. They're going to be using them to transport things and also people. And eventually they'll be autonomous. Right now they're kind of cargo vans at this point. So as you can see, this is a, another version of this, kind of the same thing because they're built on the same platform and you can kind of put different parts it's almost like a Lego set where you can put different parts in different places and you can kind of construct a, a cool different vehicle just by putting different parts in different places. Let me shut that down. But yeah, very, very cool. Here's another close up of it. 
But what do you think of it? Do you think it's do you think it's absurd? Do you think it's weird looking? What do you think? Because I think it's pretty cool looking. Anyway, if you're already if you're here and you're listening to this, thank you so much for that. And also, if you could take a second and subscribe to the channel. I banter about space stuff all the time and I bring you all this news and stuff, but it's not it's not boring. How about that? It's not boring. I'm not the news guy. I'm not the news guy. So if you like space, SpaceX, NASA, space flight, and you just want to hang out and you don't want to get the just the straight down the line news like every place else on the internet, please take a second and subscribe to the show. I will bring you the news, but it'll be fun. And we can have a conversation about it because I like to rant sometimes, as you may know, as you can see by me ranting right now about subscribing. What was that all about? Anyway, hope you like Canoe. I, pre- I think it's pretty sick. To leave a sick in the comments down below if you like it. All right. That's it, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. Wait, I have, an, I have a thing. I have to go. But bye-bye. Let's see. There we go. Not that one. This one. Bye-bye. Take care of yourselves, everybody, and each other. And I'll see you in the next one.